you know, I went back to Jay. I'm like, yo, Jay, something ain't right, man. Um, you know, um, Stevens told me what's going on. They they trying to, you know, put me out and and and, and T Fair is acting weird, you know what I'm saying? And you know, acting a little sassy like and so, so you had already spoke to Jay before you even No, nah, I, I hadn't I hadn't I hadn't spoken to him about this situation. Me and Jay had talked about it, like, but not like on the level of just like See, for me, I always wanted to just work with Jay anyway. I feel like when I got making to a certain point, I was going to come to Jay anyway because I was going to ask him for help on what to do. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Hypothetically, what would have happened, do you foresee, if you would have been able to harness that whole ordeal and, and maneuver it? Like, do you feel like this? she would still well, have got to the same destination? Yeah, because mm -hmm. we still would have connected with everybody. You know, the whole thing was to just keep the unity together for the for the sake of Texas and to just show that, you know what I'm saying, there was a new label that other people can come out and just, you know, we, Megan was not supposed to be the only person, you know what I'm saying, we were supposed to keep doing this, keep coming back on. I was on my Harry Tubman shit, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> still is, you know what I'm saying, yeah. but, uh, but, uh, you know, it just closed a lot of doors in that moment, you know what I'm saying, right. and we just did all that work to, to bust it through. You know, my whole thing was the okay, we got Megan going, you know what I'm saying? We I understood that I was never supposed to be with the artist. Like I didn't I didn't want to be with them the whole time. I knew I was supposed to get them to a certain level, you know, and then come back and do it all over again. And we supposed to do it as many times as we could. But you know, um when they got there it was like, oh shit, fuck everything else, you know what I'm saying? We like we can finna get ours and we gone, which is cool. I understand now, it's the business. But, you know, had we all stayed together uh, you know, you, you just never know what we would have built out of Texas because everybody would have wanted to sign with us. Look at all the people that was coming from Kendall, man. Libra Jolie. Mm -hmm. You had Fast Lane down there. You had South Walker down there. You got all these people that, you know, I probably could have had under one umbrella had, yeah. had we all stayed good. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And that's, that makes that's, sense. Yeah, that's a yeah, big powerhouse right there. But for whatever reason, they didn't want me to be the face. Of it. They didn't want me. They, 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 they took that face card away from me. They didn't want me to have that. And, uh, you know, um, I always feel some type of way about that because I came out of baseball, I, you know. So I came with the money and stuff. I didn't. I didn't come here to like make y'all money. I came here to get an experience. You know what I'm saying? And T. Ferris and Megan took that experience away from me. You know. What I'm but I'm. I'm gonna get it back. But for those, you know, little time period. You know, they took the experience away from me, and that's what I came over here to get. You know, wow! I, mean? I think you're doing a great job just yeah. swinging that bat, Steve. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My son, my son just got. You know, he my son <coughs> swinging the bat for me now. Both exactly, them, actually. exactly. Yeah. I know yeah. that. I that. I, I, but I, I ain't really talking about swinging the bat that way. I'm saying oh. just going at the, oh, okay. the whole situation. Yeah. You know, yeah. but you wouldn't learn unless you fall. Right, you yeah. have yeah. to go yeah. through to learn. It was so easy in the beginning, and I didn't have you know, and um. I learned the bad stuff real quick, you know. But at the end of the day, I've, I've, I've I, I had so much thrown at me in those four years that uh, you know has definitely taught me a lot, and I think it's gonna help me moving forward as I as I push fifteen on one to like another you know level. What do you yeah. think about yeah. about people yeah. you know um, when they when when they see that when you were doing what you was doing, you actually uh, when everything started to go haywire, right. you went and. Linked up with Jay Prince, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I do you call? Uh, and and we love Jay Prince. Right. Jay Prince is a, a pinnacle for the whole South, not just right. for Texas. Right. But just uh, what do you think when people see that? Okay, he went to Jay. You know why he didn't figure it out on his own? Why? Right. You know what do you think about because, that? Because you know at the, at that time you know she ran to Jay Z. You know. Yeah, I remember that. So I'm got these. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the music like that, right? I'm like, yo, I don't know I, I don't, who to call. I'm just getting into this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know no lawyers to call, you know what I'm saying, or nothing like that. So I'm I'm like, hey, I only knew one person to call, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I hit up Jay. And how was, was that <laughs> call? Like, how was it when he when you first went? You know, you, you know, you was like, man, like, hey, man, they over there, they finna leave on me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what happened was, where we was at, you know what I'm saying? We was we was somewhere. Shout out to my unsung hero, Devon Stevens. Man. Okay, you know yeah, I remember you said that yeah, last shout time. Shout out to my unsung hero because you know, um, had he not like tipped me warned when, you, yeah. yeah, warned me when he did, they would have got away with just slipping the whole thing from up under me, right under my nose, and I they wouldn't have known nothing about it. But uh, once I got that little warning, and I I was getting a little feelings from T. Ferris, you know how he, you know they was doing little stuff, wouldn't tell me times where I had to be certain places, yeah. wouldn't have, you know, all the little. The little whole shit they start to do when they trying to back away from you. You can feel it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, 
you know, I went back to Jay. I'm like, yo, Jay, something ain't right, man. Uh, you know, um, Stevens told me what's going on. They, they trying to, you know, put me out. And and, and, and T. Ferris acting weird, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, acting a little sassy like. And so, so you had already spoke to Jay before you even. No, nah, I, I hadn't. I hadn't. I hadn't spoken to him about this situation. Me and Jay had talked about it, like, but not like on the level of just like, see, for me, I always wanted to just work with Jay anyway. I felt like when I got making to a certain point, I was gonna come to Jay anyway because I was gonna ask him for help on what to do. That's right. T. Ferris didn't want that because he knew what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? So he knew somebody would have been watching. So he always kept me like saying shit like, oh, you know, you know, he kept he he didn't want me like. Talking to Jay as much, so I wouldn't. The first time I ever talked to Jay, I kind of was like, "Nah, Jay, you know, I'll come back later. Maybe I'll think about it." And then, you know, gave this fool T. Ferris more time to fuck over me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck. I should have. Uh, I should have. Like, had I uh, had I would have came in, you know, when I was supposed to. Had I would have came in when I was supposed to, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, he. Uh, what happened? Yeah, so if you yeah, so after I get the if you came when you supposed when, when you supposed when, to when you talk to him, go to him Jay, none of that would happen. None of stuff would happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But T. Ferris, he 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 knew what to say to me to make me like kind of pause the Jay thing for a second, and then you know they went with they move, and then that's when I went back with Jay. Went back to talk to Jay about. At least it. you went back because yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, yeah. he's one of those guys that you really you know he knows the business. He when I like I said when I spoke to Birdman, he big up uh, Jay and right. and you know uh, when, whenever you speaking to like anybody when it comes to something I've heard Master P over and over again right. big up Jay you know all these people from Tony Dre all these people anybody you see the movement it all the foundation have to be there a lot of time people try to make it just an H town thing right. but really it is a when it comes to the music industry mm -hmm. it's a whole southern thing when it comes to Jay Prince because he was the one that first initiated this stuff. Yep. So for niggas to try to go away from it, like, oh, he ain't who he is and all that, that that's really hating, to be honest with you. Because well, you know, uh, he, he first did it. He did uh, it first in the South. And yeah. ain't no sense in niggas trying to act like that ain't the way it happened. I'm just going to be real. You mm -hmm. can say how you want to say it. Yeah, he's the um, blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Came Definitely. Them, yeah. So I ain't playing with that. Yeah, so he, uh, he gave us the blueprint to everything. And, uh, you know, we all follow it, like, it's the indie blueprint, and that's what made me want to do it. Well, what do you mean? Because you from Fifth Ward? Yep. So he from Fifth Ward. Right. So when you first, well, think about this for a minute. You from Fifth Ward, he from Fifth Ward. Like, when you first heard, what was the song? What was it, When you first heard about the Ghetto Boys, I'm going to go there with you now. Because you, you, for some reason, you ran over here trying to deal with this music stuff. So I ain't never asked you about Man. this. Like, what was your first experience dealing with Jay Prince and the Ghetto Boys? Let me tell you, like, so, in Fifth Ward, everybody, we all know, we all used to go to this place called Lockwood Skate Ring. You know okay. what I'm saying? I heard that before. And, you know what I'm saying? It was, like, the soundtrack for mm -hmm. rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, just from all that, from... From Scarface to Willie D to, uh, um, um, you know, Bushwick Bill to all of them, you know, but. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.